the all-Irish female band Celtic Woman. They're back from several sold-out shows at Radio City Music Hall, but if they're happy with that, how happy will they be being in the ABC Radio National Breakfast <laughs> Studio? <laughs> Four amazing Irish voices and a fiddle in the studio now with me, Lisa Kelly, Chloe Agnew, Lynn Hillary and Mairead Nez. But welcome to Australia and to Thank breakfast. You Thank you. Thank you. Delighted to be here. Mairead, you were in Australia 14 years ago, but in a very different capacity, playing violin for Michael Flatley's Lord of the Dance. Yes. What a remarkable change your life has gone through in the last 14 years. I know. It's just amazing to be back again, you know, with Celtic Woman. And um, it's it's really the dream job, I must say, you know, to be on stage with... Um, you know, wonderful, wonderful singers, you know, and um, so it's, it's, it's fantastic to be back again. Lisa, Chloe, Lynn, it's been a transformation for you by all as well. You wouldn't have expected your life to be as it is now, five, it's ten been, years yeah. ago. No, it's been incredible for all of us. We're very lucky, very thankful to be part of it. Myself and Lynn were part of River Dance, and Chloe's grown up being on the stage and being involved and stuff. So um, it's, you know, it's something new, and yet it's something we're very comfortable and very familiar with doing. Did you grow up with Irish music in the home a lot, each of you? Yeah. Well, Murray did. I mean, Murray comes from a very traditional Irish music yeah. background. Yeah. So you probably would have grown up with it. Yeah, I, I, I did, you know, and uh, my, my parents. But, I mean, we, we, we all come from very musical families, of course, and all our parents are, are you know, singers or musicians, you know, and uh, it's it's like a, a way of life with all of us, you know. And uh, Lynn is from a traditional and a classical background as well. Lisa is from a classical and a contemporary background and a show background. And, of course, Chloe is the most beautiful classical singer and contemporary singer. So it's just we, we've all been very lucky. Um, to to be raised in the families that we've been raised up in, you know. And with that mixed experience musically, you've all incorporated the different genres into your work. Now, what, this is your fifth album, Songs from the Heart, and if you include the DVDs, the first four have sold some six million copies. <laughs> Why has it st- struck such a chord with audiences, do you think? Say, uh, uh, Lynn. Yeah, it's it's hard. Well, it's hard to exactly put your finger on why. I mean, I suppose if everyone knew why, everyone would be doing it, you know. <laughs> but um, I suppose Celtic Woman, you know, it was it was the right time. It was everything just just was right, you know. They they pulled out all the stops. They had the best musical arranger and composer. They had, you know, the best uh, set designers and lighting designers and costume designers. Even the, those little things, I think, made a difference too. And just, you know, it came around at, a, at the right time. You know, there was a lot of three three piece uh, male groups. It was like the Celtic tenors and the the Irish tenors and there wasn't really the same thing for women I don't think so there was a there, you know there was it was there was a need for it and um <clears throat> and um just I, I I joined later on when the girls had been well established and I used to look online at what they were doing and I thought wow it's just it's the, the arrangements were so lush and, and they were just glorious you know and the voices and everything was just it was just it was just it just it, it's a treat for all the senses really it certainly is as visual as it is uh, musical which, Mairead, for you, creates a complication in that you sometimes have to do a bit of Irish dancing whilst playing violin, <laughs> something I've never seen before, never thought was actually oh, possible. Oh, my God, I wouldn't call it Irish dancing at all. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. Um, you know, I... <laughs> yes, they're all laughing here. But <laughs> no, I love moving. I, and we all love... Actually, we all love moving, um, you know, when we're, we're singing or playing. And I, I, I love it myself. It's, it's something that I'm, I've, I've done naturally and it, it just makes sense with the music. You're so popular and with popularity inevitably comes the critics. What do Irish purists say? Because you're bringing Irish music to the whole world, exposing it to people who would never have received it, yet you're doing it in a way which the purists and traditionalists might not be entirely familiar with or in They'll Ooh. never be happy. <laughs> no matter what you do. We've, we've never claimed it was traditional mm, or, exactly. or purist. Yeah. Nobody's ever made that claim on mm. it. And the beauty of Celtic Woman, uh, just to elaborate on what Lynn was saying as well, the beauty of this has been that we're all very, very different. I would never claim to come from a traditional Irish background. Mm. Or, uh, as I mean, as much as I trained classically, I'm not a classical singer. And, you know, it was, it was something I studied, but I really was always interested in the musical side of things and the contemporary side of things. And I think that has been something that people have probably misconceived about Celtic Woman. Mm. We never said it was a traditional Irish show. We're very lucky that we have a traditional fiddle player, but she's also a classical fiddle player. And, you know, 
it's it's just music that may be Irish and that we enjoy singing, but we've put our own spin on it. And there's so much variety within the show. As much as the music, there's a huge variety, but there's a huge variety in our personalities yeah. and in the way we, we would each perform. Well, you can certainly claim to be entertaining and the music, you can claim the music is very beautiful and now you have an opportunity to prove me right on that. So <laughs> what, what have you got for us today? We're going to do a, a piece, just an a cappella version of it from our show, Songs from the Heart. It's called Nishin Law, which means seize the day. It's a bit of fun. Nishin Law, Lisa Kelly, Chloe Agnew, Lynn Hillary, Mairead Nesbitt. Well, thank you very much for coming in today. Thank, thank you. you. It's Celtic Woman, uh, the current album, Songs from the Heart, touring the country in October and November. Excellent. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thanks, Thanks so for much. having us. My pleasure, my pleasure. It's lovely. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoyed it. So.